In this video, I'm giving you an update about conscious parenting right after this. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shayla, I'm a mom of four. Um, and a while ago, a long while ago, um, I talked to you guys about conscious parenting. I will link that video um, in the cards and in the description box below for you so you can check that out. Um, but I wanted to provide an update for you. Things are pretty much the same. <laughs> um, I think that, well, let me say this. Um, since going through therapy, I have found, I think the, the biggest change uh, for me in my parenting journey has just been awareness. I, I, I understand, I think now, how I react to certain things that the kids do. Um, and I'm more apt to go to them and apologize and say like, hey, you know, I'm sorry for responding that way. I was wrong, um, you, know, you know, please forgive me, things like that. To me, that is conscious parenting. Um, conscious parenting is not like, in my opinion, conscious parenting is not, you never discipline your kid and you know, you just let them do whatever you want and it's just like, whatever will be, will be. No, I believe that conscious parenting is that you are fully aware of uh, the choices and the decisions that you are making and that you are doing them for the best of your child and that you are also able to allow your kids um, to speak to the relationship. A lot of times I think, you know, parenting uh, is one-sided, that parent-child relationship is one-sided, um, and it shouldn't be, you know? I think that kids should have a space, a safe space where they're able to articulate the things that they're feeling, the things that they're thinking, um, and a lot of times when that doesn't happen, when the child gets older, and you want them to have a relationship with you, they're not gonna have a relationship with you because you never took the time to foster that. And so I think it starts, you know, while they're young. Now my kids, they're ranging from ages three to eight, so they're still kind of on that younger side. Um, but I am noticing this more with my eight-year-old, like giving him the space and the opportunity to actually have dialogue and conversation um, has been huge for him and just giving him that space to feel like his voice matters. Um, now, I did make a video about uh, parenting the right way or having like a prom problem child. Um, it's still a problem, <laughs> I'll say that. Not a problem, it's still a challenge. It is still a challenge. Even, you know, now correcting my mindset about what my children being a problem. I think there are challenges that I face um, and it comes with the territory. Like, it, it, it's his personality. It's what I have to uh, work with and work through. Um, and so, do I do everything the right way? No, absolutely not. There, I mess up every single day, um, you know, but at least, like I said, now I'm in the place where I am um, aware of it and I'm able to say like, you know what? This kid needs a hug right now. You know what? This kid needs to know that, you know, I'm proud of him, that I, um, you know, value him here, you know, being a part of this family. And so y'all pray for me, I'm telling you, it's, it's mainly the younger two, like that age, that toddler age from two to like five is, is a hard, hard season. Um, but just because it's hard, it does not mean that it can't be done. I have to remind myself of that. Just because it's hard, it doesn't mean that it can't be done. Um, so if you have any tips for me, let me know in the comment section. Hey, I will take anything that you got, okay? <laughs> I might even put this in my Insta story um, and just ask you guys for help because your girl be struggling. Um, but in any case, I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, and don't forget, hiding is overrated. I'll see you next time.